and welcome to my channel. I'm Michelle, the face behind Pierre Carr and styled by Pierre Carr. And this is the place where you can get tips to create your own personal style. Now, if you're new to my channel or you've simply forgotten, please hit the subscribe button below. But all the content for this video will be in the description below with links. Today, we're talking patterns and prints. So let's get started. So this is my first pattern shirt to show you, a rope shirt by a little company called Milk and Biscuits. And I absolutely love them. One, because they believe in buy less, buy better. So you know you're buying quality. And the second is that they don't follow seasonal trends. So anything that you put with what they produce from their collection is guaranteed to look good and to last. Now the reason why I've picked this shirt again particularly is because it's got a great prim front, but look at this. Good girl. Naughty girl. Love it. Now, one of the first rules of pattern shirts is you always find a neutral to blend with it. So you're not looking crazy. Cause this for some is quite busy, right? So I'm gonna go with finding something blue to blend with it to show to you. So there you have it, a nice blue blazer to set the shirt off. And I've included a red belt to really make it stand out and vibrate a little bit. And actually I have to say, it's a cool outfit. The second outfit features a long waistcoat and a big belt. I love a belt to accentuate the waist and it's just another contrast to the pattern, which you can see more of the detail of the sleeve with a waistcoat. So I hope you're liking these two looks so far. Um, I've got a little surprise for you at the end. So stay with it. One more shirt, two more looks to come. So the second shirt I've decided to show you today is polka dots. Now polka dots are one of those shirts which come under classic patterns like stripes like ginghams, worn right, they're not offensive, they're easily paired with things. And this is the point of this exercise today, not to get you too carried away yet with patterns, but to show just with simple change and neutral colors, it will look fabulous. So this is a much more casual affair, taken down with a nice pair of jeans and a uh, shorter waistcoat this time but also with the hat it just gives off a much more fun vibe and i hope you can see the difference between the two well i've hoped you like this week's patterns and how to wear them best i've tried to keep it as simple as possible for you guys but next time i will definitely jazz it even more up with maybe two patterns to wear at the same time and as promised the company milk and biscuits has promised that if you put my code yes my code in the checkout you will get a discount of any of the tops highlighted um, from her spring and 20 collection so that's right if you put my code at the checkout at milk and biscuits you will get a discount so until next time let me know what you think what content you like and take care